A question for you two, okay. What 200 X570 motherboard would you recommend to pair with a 3700X and 3000 series GPU? Most boards seem to have an issue or two. $200 X570 motherboard? 3700X? The... Do you have it down there or not? No, it's not $200. The uh, MSI X570 Tomahawk comes to mind. Um, Asus has a couple of nice prime boards in that price range. The Gigabyte Elite is around that price. I would think that a B550 would be a better value at the $200 price point. Uh, the Asus X570 Tough is that price point. I don't like the Tough because it doesn't have an integrated IO shield and that really bugs me. It's kind of missing some other features. It's good power delivery and a solid board, but it 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 too bland for my taste. That's a little personal preference. Some people don't care. I don't know. I, I just look at boards that are... I, I want... Motherboards these days are about power delivery, features, and style points. Yep. There is no appreciable performance difference within a given price point. Now, there may be a case where a $100 motherboard is not as fast because the power delivery is not adequate or because it's lacking in design or something else. But if you're at the $200 price point, all $200 boards are going to be close enough. You don't buy based on any perceived differences no. in How performance. How many two slots do you want? How many ports do you want? Do you need Type-C? What color do you want? Do you want RGB? Networking, sound. Networking, Integrated sound. IO shield. Yes. And and just preference of, of, of style and brand that matches your computer. Are you Do you like MSI's BIOS? Do you like Gigabyte's BIOS? Do you like ASUS's BIOS? Do you like the physical look of the board? I, not everything about a computer has to be priced to performance. Some of it is what will you enjoy and be excited about building? And it's a fair point to say, I'll pay an extra $20 for that board because I like... If the Asus ROG Strix is 20 or 30 or even $40 more than the MSI Tomahawk, but you go, man, I really love Asus BIOSes and... Um, I like the the heat shield and the sink and the heat sink design on the board, and it's I, I like their RGB software. Okay, so buy one. Oh, but it costs more. So it's your computer. If you've got the money, buy the one that will make you happy. There's nothing worse than building a computer, and trying to save twenty or forty bucks on parts, and ending up with what you didn't really want. Buy what will make you go. <sighs> I'm glad I... Yeah, thank you. We, we, we have a rule in our house. And the rule is, I'm glad I. I'm glad I got that. I'm glad I got this. I'm glad I. So, you are more than welcome to borrow our rule. I'm glad I. Buy what will make you glad that you bought and not... Well, you're going to have it for a long time. Yeah. And if you're sitting there going, uh, that's no fun. That's not I'm glad I, you just broke the rule. You all have a new rule. I'm glad I. I'm very much a, a proponent of don't try to save $20 on your motherboard. It's if the you, last place you should save $20. If you want RGB, get RGB. If you don't, don't. I mean, 